everyone, it's Katherine, and today's video is just a little bit different than my normal videos uh, because it's not going to be just a quick tutorial. It's more of an idea, and I'm going to show you how you can implement this idea as well um, if you want to start digital planning in Procreate. So if you follow my channel, you already know that I do most of my digital planning in Procreate. The only thing that I really use GoodNotes for is to organize my planner pages. Um, so I can flip through everything at a later time, but all of the um, decorating, designing, filling in, all of that stuff I do in Procreate. I just find that Procreate is easier, it's better, you can get more creative with stuff. But one of the things that I really like about GoodNotes is that you can have multiple notebooks and you can have sticker books and you can switch back and forth between those sticker books very easily. So I wanted to try to find a way to do that for Procreate. And I figured out a system that I really, really like. I've been doing it for about a day. I've actually been working on it a lot today. And I think it's going to work out really, really well. So if you watch my videos, my Plan With Me videos, you know that I pull in a bunch of my files from Dropbox um, constantly. That's where I just pull all of my stickers from as I'm decorating. And it's really easy to do, um, and I love using Dropbox, but my only frustration with it is that I can't flip through my stickers so easily. So if I'm looking at a sticker set, I pretty much have to know specifically what sticker set I want to use. Um, I can't just easily look at all of my options and then go from there. So because of that, I've missed out on using several stickers that I probably would have otherwise used if I would have remembered that I even had them. So... I created sticker stacks in Procreate, and I'm going to show you those now. So, I just opened Procreate, and I created several stacks today with all of the planner stickers that I had saved on Dropbox. Um, I used the sticker sheets rather than the individual images because I just prefer to see the whole sheet and to crop stickers as needed. So, you'll see right here I have a folder for occasion stickers, summer stickers, spring stickers, fall stickers, neutral stickers planner icons and words, winter stickers, and colorful stickers. And behind these cover photos um, are all of my sticker sheets organized so I can see everything at a glance. So first I'm gonna show you how easy it is to flip through these sticker books and how once you've decided on the sticker set that you wanna use, how you can pull that up and crop what you need and then bring that into your planner page and then I'm going to show you how you can set up one of these sticker books. So, since it's Christmas time and I'm obsessed with Christmas, um, I'm going to flip through my winter stickers. Now, I decided for my themed stickers that fall into a certain time of year like Christmas or um, Halloween or whatever, I decided instead of just sorting by month, I sorted by season. So all of my Christmas stickers are in my winter stickers set, but my Valentine stickers are there as well. So don't be confused if we're flipping through and you see a Valentine set. And that's just because winter covers December, January, and February. Okay, so to flip through one of these stacks, um, once you've created a stack, all you have to do is come up here and click select and then click the stack that you wanna flip through and then click on preview. And then you can just swipe to see all of your stickers. So once you pick out a sticker set that you wanna use and you wanna go ahead and crop one of those stickers, um, this is a kit from HT Planning, I believe it's called Noel, and I'll link to it in the video description. So let's say I wanted to use one of these stickers, um, I would just double tap on it and it takes me straight in to the Procreate document. So now let's say I wanted to use this sticker right here of this chair that has that joy pillow in it. Um, I would just crop this the same way I would crop a sticker sheet in Procreate. I have a separate tutorial that shows you how to do that, which I'll link to in the video description, but I'm going to show you here as well. So all I need to do, since that's a rectangular sticker, I'm going to go up here to my ribbon and rectangle is already selected down here. And now I'm just going to draw a rectangle around it. And now I'm going to hit duplicate. So now you'll see right here that I've duplicated that sticker. So that is the only sticker that I want to copy. I don't want to bring in this whole sticker sheet. So on the new layer that I've just duplicated, 
I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna click on copy and then I'm gonna go ahead and delete it. So I'm just back to my normal sticker sheet. So now I can go back to my gallery and then go to my digital planner page, which is right here. And I'm gonna three finger swipe and hit paste. And now that sticker is pulled in and I can use it. So you'll see on that particular sticker set, it doesn't have a transparent background and I didn't delete the background before uploading it because all of my planner pages are white so it doesn't really bother me. But you can delete the background from your stickers before you import them into Procreate into your sticker book. But see how easy it is to just flip, pick your sticker, and then go put it in your digital planner page. So now I want to show you how you can import these stickers and organize these stickers. Before I imported these stickers, I went ahead and renamed my stickers in Dropbox. That is a totally optional step. The reason that I did it is because when I'm flipping through these stacks, I want to know who created the sticker set that I'm going to use and what the name of that sticker set is. Um, since I do my plan with these videos, I want to make sure I feature the right stickers in my videos and, you know, have the links to those in the video description. So it's really only necessary if you want to organize your stickers like that or, you know, if you do plan with these videos or whatever, but you don't have to change the name like I did. So to import stickers from your Dropbox, this is what you do. On the main Procreate page, you're going to go up here to import and I'm gonna bring in some stickers from CCM Digitals that I haven't brought in yet. So here's my CCM Digitals folder, and I am going to do this December full kit. So I've already changed the name of these, um, and I wanna bring in all of the ones that say CCM Digitals dash, and then she's got WW December full kit one through full kit seven. So I'm gonna bring in all seven of those. So I'm just gonna click on the first one, and it brought that in. And as soon as I bring it in, I go ahead and go to my layers up here and then I turn off the background um, because a lot of sets do have that transparent background. So I like to know, you know, without being in the document, if it has a transparent background. So I go ahead and turn that background off. And then when I go back, I can see since it looks gray instead of white that it does have a transparent background. So now I'm just gonna import um, the rest of those stickers from this kit. Okay, so I've got all seven of those imported. So if these were the first sets that I wanted to use to create a new stack, all I would need to do is click on select and then select all of those stickers and then hit stack. And it stacks it and it just gives it the name stack. Um, but you can edit that by clicking here and then just naming it whatever you want. I'm just typing random letters. But those are Christmas stickers and I have a winter stack already. So um, I actually want to move those to my winter stickers. So to do that, I'm gonna click on this new stack and then again, I'm gonna click on select and select all seven. And then I'm just gonna drag up here until it brings me back to my main screen. And then I'm gonna to drag to my winter stickers until it opens that. And then I'm just gonna drop these. And I dropped them after my winter stickers cover because whatever you have first right here, that's what's gonna be your cover. So if one of these sticker sets was placed before the winter stickers and then I go back um, to the main screen, you'll see that that sticker set is over my cover. So that's why I created those covers just to make it easier to see what I'm looking at. And once I'm done importing a set of stickers, if it brings those in above my cover, I just make sure to drag my cover to the first position of the stack. So that's how you do it. Um, it's just super simple to do. Um, one thing that I like to do since I'm organizing my stickers a few different ways, I usually pull up my Dropbox app like I'm doing now and import the stickers in the order that I'm seeing here. Um, so like this next kit that I'm gonna do is this Me and My Llama kit, which is a colorful kit. I would put that under my colorful stickers. 
So I would go back into Procreate and since I know that the next set that I'm gonna import goes under the colorful stickers, I'm gonna go ahead and open that stack of colorful stickers and then I'm gonna click on import and I'm gonna go back to my CCM Digitals folder and there's the kit. And then I'm gonna bring in all four of those sticker sheets. So now I have all four of those sheets in here and then I'm just gonna drag my colorful stickers document to the front so it is still my cover. Um, and that's it. Feel free to contact me if you have any questions at all and I'm happy to help. Um, I hope some of you might implement this. Uh, this is something that for some reason I never thought of it before today. There might be somebody out there that already does it. It's just really been awesome and I'm really excited to see all of my stickers in one place and to be able to browse my stickers and look at all of them so I don't miss out on using stickers anymore. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for more digital planning tutorials and digital plan with me videos and check out my website naptimealt.com where there's tons of planner related freebies that you can download now.